Hello everyone, my name is Droogie Forever, and today we're playing Undiscovered House. Um, we played the demo for this game, so today we're going to play the full game. Uh, it's been out, I don't know, at least a couple days. Probably longer, because I was sick all weekend, so... Uh, let's see, today's Monday the 29th. I'm pretty sure it was last week, so it hasn't been out that long. Um, but anyway, we played the demo, and now we're going to play the main game. It's... Um, I don't know, I want to say it was like five bucks. I could check. I'll check at the end of the video. So if you want to know how much it costs, and it's on Steam. Um, as far as I know, it's not on console. And the demo wasn't bad. This beginning part's kind of really cheesy and bad, but uh, the demo wasn't bad. And so, regardless of what it looks like here, at this beginning part. Maybe it leads to a house. Um, it, it wasn't terrible. So this part, though, I really wish the developer would add in a brightness option because I can see on OBS, no problem, this is fine. But as I've explained a million times in every other dark indie horror game, on my 4K monitor, which is where the main image is that I'm looking at or trying to look at, Everything but these circles of light is black. Pitch black with zero dis... Like, I, if I'm looking right here, all I can see is a tiny bit of sky up there in the corner, and that's it. And I can kind of make out the edges of the trees. On my 4K monitor, this is all black. P pick, like, I know that you can see it and that there's grass and stuff there. And that's what I'm seeing on OBS, which is my 1080p monitor. And that's what gets recorded. But what I'm looking at on my 4K monitor right now in this image is perfectly black. Nothing. It's nothingness. And that's every indie horror game on my 4K monitor. Because indie developers don't seem to understand just how black black is on a 4K monitor. I think that a lot of these guys, you know, they're working out of their basements or whatever. They don't have the money for Whoa, 4K monitors. <laughs> And I think that they have no way of testing, so they don't know how bad it really is. But it is really, really, really bad. And I wish they would do something about it, but it's not going to happen with this uh, developer. And it's not going to happen with 99% of the other indie developers. I, I just genuinely think they have no idea the scale of the problem. And... Um, because it's happening all throughout the industry. Because I play every horror game that comes out. Every single one you guys see a video for on this channel. Unless it's like instantly apparent that it's like the worst game of all time. Um, I will play it when it comes out. And it is easily apparent to me that this issue with the... 4k monitors is not going away it's um it's a problem and it needs corrected when it's 90 percent of the games that are out are ha facing this same issue you know you know you got to do something to fix it but you know we'll see if they actually do or not All right, here's another one. See, I can't see in this room either, even on the 1080p monitor. Yes, the creepy rocking chair. We do get a flashlight later, but I'm not going to come back in there. I don't think there's anything that I need that bad. Um. Ooh, scary dude. Scary dude, scary dude, does whatever scary dude does. Shit my pants, no I don't Cause I saw that coming a mile away Cause I played it in the demo Oh, hey, come on now There we go, thank you Take the battery, take it My name is Steve and I'm a writer I was looking for a quiet place to live and write So I recently bought this house I looked for some information about the history But the local authorities said they don't have any information About the previous owner not sure why Steve would narrate his thoughts like that. I guess diaries are still cool. 
All right, we need a key for that door. I know that. Oh, I saw that guy. Okay. I like how not every room has a light switch, which is super unrealistic. <laughs> I'm like, does some of the rooms have a light switch, which is like, what? Strange things have started to happen here. I hear weird, creepy, unexplainable sounds. I can't sleep normally anymore. I also see moving shadows. I've reported it all to the police, but they think I'm crazy. I don't know what to do anymore. I know what you should do. Grow up, that's what. Grow up, dude. Grow up. Alright, we got a fuse. Nothing's happening, you big baby. Oh, I saw that one. Oh, I can't see anything in here, so I hope there's nothing important. Uh, thank you, door, for hitting me in the face. Face mob. Uh, okay. Thank you. That was very helpful. All right, let's see. Hey, we got a key. It's no longer possible to live in this house. Strange sounds and shadows are becoming more common. I talked to one of this area's older residents, and he told me that a doctor who worked in a small psychiatric hospital lived in this house. The doctor lived a very private life and was considered strange. I also found out that the locals say that you can get to a psychiatric hospital from this house through some tunnels. It doesn't sound credible, but I'll try to explore the basement better. Maybe I'll find something. Maybe. Uh, can you let get off of me? Thank you. In the demo, you could open this door. It was really funny. Another fuse. Alright. Where's the flashlight? I don't remember where I get it. This key doesn't go here, does it? Nope. Okay, it goes down here. He's standing there. Not afraid of you. I ain't afraid of no ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Ghost busting makes me feel good. Hey, we got the flashlight. I should check the panel. Maybe it's in the basement. Oh, and unlike some horror games, this is actually a positive. Um, your flashlight doesn't die immediately and you have to replace the batteries every two seconds, which is awesome. Um, but one thing that it does do that's slightly disappointing, but I, could, I, I really don't care because I hate the flashlight mechanic, is you do have to replace the batteries occasionally, but it's like it like never happens. I don't think I used a battery in my last playthrough at all um which is kind of weird wait do i have the key for that oh no i need a combination um uh, it's kind of weird that it's so slow that uh that it really doesn't you know you'd never have to use a battery but i'm still okay with that because um i don't like that flashlight mechanic anyway so i don't i don't care um, what do I do about that combination? It fell in there. Oh, probably whatever this was. Something fell. Oh, there we go. We got a key. All right, cool. So that'll probably give us the combination. Hey, I saw that. And he's gone. All right, let's go in the door. Bronze key used. Oh. Thought I was in a room, not the attic. I forgot. 
Uh, I don't see anything there. All right, time to hang ourselves. Three, nine, seven, six. This is it. I can't do this anymore. I saw what was hiding behind the door in the basement. If someone finds this note, the code is in the How chest. Is this house? I should find out what is going on here. Three, nine, seven, six. So we got to memorize that. Three, nine, seven, six. Three, nine, seven, six. Three and nine and seven six. Final, 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 final. Uh. There we go. Okay, we got it. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I remember in the last. Yeah, I never came in here. I actually never came in here uh, on my um, last trip down here. I think I've made it this far. Interesting. Okay, so there's nothing in here. It doesn't matter. There's no notes, no nothing. Just a weird bed and a, um, something's missing. What is it? What? Something's missing. Battery, 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 flashlight. What's missing out of there? What have I missed? I've apparently missed something in the house somewhere. Alright, there were a couple dark rooms. So where did I need the flashlight at the most? There were two rooms, I think. This was one of them. I couldn't see anything in here. Which, it looks like there's nothing to see, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Where was the other one? Upstairs? There's a bathroom. There's this room. I don't think these had anything. I don't even know what goes in there. I don't remember what it was. Maybe I didn't play up that far. I don't know. That scene looked familiar, though. I'm pretty sure I played it. This room. Battery. Door stuck. What? So I need a way to unstick that door? What the heck? There's all this extra stuff I don't remember. Hmm. I, I get off of that thing. Is there something in here? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't see anything here besides the bloody uh, shirt. You know? What the hell am I missing? Where did I miss something? I'm, I'm confused. I don't know what goes there. I feel like I'm supposed to have that at this point. What have I missed? It's gotta be here. Somewhere. So what am I missing? What am I missing? Missing, and where would it be? I don't know what to do. I genuinely don't know what to do here. I am lost and confused. I want to say I made it through that last time I played this, and I want to say I made it through without an object. I wonder if they patched out some kind of flaw. 
because now I gotta figure out what goes in there and I have no clue I don't have anything that fits in there and I've been everywhere and I've opened everything yeah look at this I mean I've opened every drawer in the game and close some of them so I can see what's inside of them just make sure okay okay there's nothing in the fridge won't let me open it there's nothing in the sink just can't it wait okay I didn't even know I could open that cool but there's nothing in it so it doesn't matter looks like there was supposed to be something on the chair or on the plate there oh here we go what is that a gear Let's see if that's what it wants. It might be. This might be it. Yes! Okay, thank you. Thank God, okay. That took forever. All right, yeah. Okay, so I did play this at one point. I just haven't uploaded the video yet. I remember now. Okay, I got stuck in the hospital, okay. I, I remember I'm my memory's starting to come back I like I said I was very ill this weekend and am forgetting a lot of uh, things okay I got a bolt a Chevy bolt no a Chevy bolt and a bolt and a volt I'm still recovering give me time Time to be funny. Alright, there's a dead end here. Just checking to see if there's... Nope, no objects. Okay. All right, so this just takes me around the corner. That's where I just went in. Oh, he's in the he's in the water. And there he goes. Yeah, see the batteries are degrading at a realistic pace for me. This is a realistic pace. The only thing is there are too many batteries in the game, I guess would be my only complaint. And I, and that's not even really a complaint it's because I think it's so much better uh, this way than I'm afraid to go over to him I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that it's so much better this way than any other game because it's realistic and that you don't have to change them every two seconds it's just it's much better this is a much better way of doing it All right, he went this way, so let's go that way. I'm gonna get lost down here, aren't I? Five, three, six, nine. Five, three, six, nine. Okay, it's a map. And we got a wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. I got a wheel and a bolt. Wheel and a bolt and a bolt and a map. And a map of this tunnel we're living in. Okay, I don't know where that one goes. I don't know where that one goes. I don't, oh my god. Yep. We're stuck here forever. We're just going to live in the tunnel. That one. Oh my god, there's so many of them. 
And there's the thing again. Oh boy. Okay, so it's a big circle. Alright. Um, so we're in this big circle in that room right there, I think. So if I take the th third one... No, wait. If I go back that way... And take the first one I come to. If I go back this way and take the first one I come to. Because I think all we need to do is go back? Or wait. Hold on. Let me look at it one more time. Because I, I might be wrong about that. Because if I go back to where we came from, how does that help me? No. No. I don't need to. Okay, so I need the third one up this way. The first two loop back on themselves. The third one takes me to an area I don't think I've been in. So these two loop to each other. So if I look at them, okay, maybe they don't. So is it this one I need? Those two were walled off. I hope this is the one I need. Okay, don't turn that off because it's pitch black. Even in my 1080p monitor. Oh, Jesus. Don't do that. Dick. Okay, can't open that. Uh, which side do I need to be on? I have no idea. Do I need to go down there or up here? This looks promising. Okay. Hey, okay. So we got a key. What does the key go to? That's the question. Where does the key go? I don't think there's anything down this way, but we're gonna we're gonna explore anyway. Okay, maybe it goes to this door. It did. It went to the door. Fantastic. Oh hey, we're here already. Don't be weird. Alright, so, yeah, I definitely remember this. So I have played this far into the game. Uh, so there's one thing we need to do in here, but we can't do it yet. Don't do it yet. But if you open this, you can crawl in there, but don't do it yet. So what you need to do first is make sure all these doors are open straight to here and make sure that's open also make sure this is on so you can see and I'll explain why we're doing all that in a second 50 30 20 remember that too because you're gonna need to know it that code does not change it's not RNG just so you know we need that wire. I can't remember if there's anything else in these. I don't think there is. Um, but we did need that wire. There's another wire we need upstairs, but that's fine. Alright. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need in these rooms. But let's go ahead and just look around real quick. Come on now. It just saves me from having to do it in a little bit. Uh, I don't think there's anything in the bathroom that I remember. I don't think there's anything in any of those. Alright, so just remember, 
make sure you keep all those doors open right there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go under here. We're going to use that combination. 50, 30, 20. We're going to grab that key. And then when we come out, there's going to be a dude right there. And he is going to chase us. Come right in here. And shut your flashlight off. Now, when I played this last time, I'm pretty sure he came back in, so just give him a minute. The music will go away when it's safe. There we go. All right. Now, we go upstairs. <clears throat> and we need to open one of these. Which one is it? It's this one, I think. I don't know what number that is. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. All right, um, the bathroom does open, but there's not really anything you need in there. There is, however, a wire over here. You need that. And then I can't remember if there's a battery. doesn't matter. All right, so we got the key. So now we need this. Uh, here we go. Wire, wire. All right, all of those are on. I think seven's the one we needed. I think it's at the end. I don't know. Either way, I think it's this one that already kind of had a light on, sort of. Who are you? What are you talking about? Yeah. So anyway, that's the ending. Um, kind of disappointing because it just doesn't fit together, in my opinion. It's just kind of, you know, uh, thrown together there at the end, I think. I think it could do with a little bit more um, explanation. But other than that, I mean, it's a super indie, indie game. But I, I did enjoy it. I know it seems pretty simple and whatever, but I had fun with it. Um, so I, I hope you enjoyed it. Because I did. So anyway, uh, that's Undiscovered House. Uh, if you liked it, tell that like button. You want to smash. And don't forget to subscribe. You stay you. I'll stay me. Droogie forever. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Later.